Hi, my name is Trace, and I'm a diehard Saints fan. And if you are too, and you agree that the Saints are the best team in the whole wide world, they got the best uniform, got the best logo, in the best city, in the best state, in the whole wide world, this is the channel for you, so be sure to subscribe. Been a diehard Saints fan since the day I started watching the NFL. Admittedly, I grew up watching a lot more college football, but I'll tell you what, the second I started watching the NFL, the second I was old enough to pick my own Madden team, I was die. Ride or die with the New Orleans Saints every single time. I love this team, and if you do too, we're a channel that takes pride in being Saints content and providing Saints content by Saints fans for Saints fans. So please feel free to subscribe for 100% free. All righty, let's talk about it. Pat McAfee, you guys know him. Y'all have heard of him. He's been praising the Rizzler. And I'm not talking about the guy who hangs out with AJ and Big Justin. So I'm talking about the interim head coach, Darren Rizzy, and it's not just a couple times. It's been a lot recently. Dating back to November 7th, this is when Darren Rizzy, or not Darren Rizzy, when Dennis Allen was fired and Darren Rizzy shortly after took, was named the interim head coach and took over the team. Pat McAfee tweeting out, quote, the final straw for Dennis Allen was losing to the Carolina Panthers. I really like Darren Rizzy, and we'll see if he can turn things around in New Orleans. And this was coming during Chuck Pagano's NFL hot, uh, head coach hot seat segment right after Dennis Allen got fired. And so I thought that this was pretty cool. But let's, let's, let's kind of speed things up to just recently, like a couple of days ago. Pat McAfee saying this. This is a little bit of a few parts to this quote, so just bear with me here. This is the Riz Saints now, brother. This is the new Saints, brother. Taysom Hill is back to doing Taysom Hill stuff, too. And then he took to Twitter during the game, and he put this out on social media. It, look, 12-16. The game had barely been going on for a whole lot. It's 16 minutes. Not, uh, not even of gameplay, just 16 minutes. Hey, I want to see Taysom Hill doing Taysom Hill stuff. Coach Riz probably. I mean, Pat McAfee showing love to Riz. Pat McAfee showing love to Taysom Hill. And for a good reason. He was named the NFC Offensive Player of the Week this week for his absolutely stellar performance. We had over 200 all-purpose yards, three touchdowns, and just was dominating the Cleveland Browns. And I got to give it a lot of credit and hand it to Taysom Hill for being the guy this week or this past week for the New Orleans Saints because somebody needed to take over. Number seven said, hey, I'll put the city on my back and I'll take over for us. I really like this from McAfee as well. It feels like Coach Riz walked into the offensive meeting room and said, I don't know what it is, but I haven't seen Taysom Hill do Taysom Hill stuff in like two years. Is, is anybody am I, am I the only one missing something here? Or like what's going on? And it's going to be totally transparent. I don't think that I could have said it any better myself. Pat McAfee couldn't have said it any better himself. Feels like over the past few years, just haven't seen much of Taysom Hill. It's not that we haven't seen him. Just haven't seen good production from Taysom Hill. Maybe it's a product of Pete Carmichael's play calling. Maybe it's a product of Dennis Allen being the head coach and players just not being happy. I don't know what it is, but ever since Dennis Allen's been fired, he's been playing good football. No question about it. He's been playing good football. And I think that number seven is a special player. I think he's one of one. And I just got to say, I love the fact that major media sources, or the sources, outlets, I should say, like a Pat McAfee and the Pat McAfee show, which gets millions of viewers every single day, I think it's really, really cool that they are specifically showing love to Darren Rizzi. They are specifically showing love to Taysom Hill. In the short amount of time Riz has taken over in New Orleans, it's been a completely different situation. Nobody showed this much love to the Saints when Dennis Allen was the head coach. Nobody gave this much praise to the team. Nobody even batted an eye at this football team when Dennis Allen was the head coach. Darren Rizzi is one of the top storylines in the NFL. It's pretty cool if you ask me. You know what's just pretty cool? You have a good boy at home and... It's even cooler. He's giving him some good food and making sure that he's happy, healthy, and uh, full of good nutrition. And you can do that if you check out Ollie. Today's episode is brought to you by Ollie, which is clean, fresh nutrition for your dog. Ollie is offering a fantastic deal to let your pup taste test a personalized meal plan. You can get 60% off your first box of meals when you use promo code CHATSPORTS at Ollie.com. Here's how this works. You just fill out Ollie's 30-second quiz, and they'll create a customized meal plan. Then, Ollie will crunch the numbers and recommend the right recipes and daily portions for your pup. 
For any first-time users, Ollie will send out your pup's first box with two weeks' worth of meals and a guide of how to gradually switch them over to their new diet. And I just got to be totally transparent with you. My dog, dude, you all have seen him on the show. He's such a good boy. He's such a cute little guy. He's got tummy issues every once in a while. He's a stray. He was a stray. We rescued him from the ASPCA. So being totally honest, before we had him, I don't know what he put in his gut. But I can tell you right now, ever since we got him on Ollie, it is immensely better. And you can get started if you visit the website, you click the link in the comments or description of this video, or if you just scan this QR code on your screen right now. If you want your dog to live a longer and healthier life, head over to ollie.com. Tell them all about your pup and use code CHATSPORTS to get 60% off your first box when you subscribe today. That's O-L-L-I-E dot com and code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S. Ollie.com, code CHATSPORTS, 60% off your first box. They offer a clean bowl guarantee on their first box, so if you're not completely satisfied, you can get your money back. Hit the link in the comment section, scan the QR code, whatever you need to do. Just get started with Ollie today. Don't take my word for it. Take dudes. Woof, 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 woof. That means he really, really likes it. <laughs> so let's keep talking about Taysom Hill here. And going back to what McAfee said, it's like, hey, we haven't seen him in the last couple of years. We, what's going on here? Well, we've seen a lot of him this year. 34 carries, 18 receptions. He had a career high of eight receptions for 50 yards last week against the Browns, 268 rushing yards on the season, 150 receiving yards, six total touchdowns. The dude has been a dude. And Pat McAfee, he continued to show love to Darren Rizzi saying this. You got Taysom Hill throwing touchdowns, catching touchdowns, throwing interceptions, fumbling. I mean, you had a real Taysom Hill experience versus Cleveland for this New Orleans Saints team. I know their record says they're mathematically close to being out of it, but why not Riz and the Saints getting hot? And we recently published a video that discussed the path to the playoffs for the New Orleans Saints, and it's actually pretty realistic, and it's not totally impossible for the black and gold to make it to the postseason. But honest question, just rifling through some of these pictures, how could you not love this guy? How could you not want him to be your head coach? I mean, look at him. Did Dennis Allen ever make that face? No. Did Sean Payton make that face? Maybe sometimes, but not like that. He didn't do that. This right here is a football guy. This next picture, football guy. Look at him. He's just so excited about the team. He's so pumped up. I mean, I'm going to do my best Dan Rizzi impression. We're going to do it together. Like that. I mean, look at him, dude. Come on. And just how funny he is, how personable he is. Remember the first game whenever he had his post-game press conference? And he said, I'm going to be honest. I clogged the toilet this morning. I thought it was going to be a pretty crappy day. Dude, he's a man of the people. I mean, honest question. Full transparency, honesty hour, no judgment, no harm, no foul. Who's clogged the toilet? Show of hands. I see a few among the peanut gallery. Darren Rizzi's the people head coach. And when he's celebrating like this with his team, this was obviously last year, but when he's celebrating, he's getting amped up, he's getting fired up, that gets your team fired up. That gets your players ready to play. And I'm a firm believer, you can have all the talent in the world, but you can have no leadership. That talent is wasted. You could also have a roster that's like very, you know, it's okay, it's good, it's not terrible. But if you have these guys ready to play, if they're willing to Put it on the line, ready to lay some head on some ball. Lay some head on some ball. That's a massive giggity. If they're ready to lay their lids on the other team and go and get the ball, I'll tell you what, you, I'm ready to run up through a wall. I'm getting fired up just talking about it. I, right here, right here, I'm about to run through this green screen, through this wall for Darren Rizzi just because I'm so pumped up for him, man. I just love, how could you not love him? He's so great. He's so fun. And he has made this team so much more enjoyable to watch. And lastly, McAfee saying this, Coach Riz is undefeated, is an undefeated NFL head coach. This was after his win against the Falcons. Well, 10 days later, he's still undefeated. So Pat, shout out to you. Still undefeated. Let's keep the streak going. So just got to say this happy holidays to you. Everyone who celebrates, we're not talking about Christmas. We're not talking about Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. We're not talking about any of that. We're talking about the most important holiday of the year. 
and that is Rizmus. So get in the comment section, type Riz down below, and who that nation. I hope that you're fired up. I love that Pat McAfee was showing him some love. I've been showing Darren Rizzy some love, and if you want to as well, get in the comment section and type Riz down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Y'all stay golden. We will see you next time. Thank you.